Hey guys, it's Matt, Auto Body. I'm sorry, After Hours Auto Body. It's late. Uh, quarter to 11 on Thursday night. I know, it's a work night, but um, I got I, I got to get going on this truck here. Give you an update here shortly. Um, the right side, the I have the, uh, all the welding is done. Inner, outer, and cab corner installed, welded, finished ground, needs a little bit of body work, and uh, we're moving on to the other side. I'm going to save the doors for last, I think. A um, little bit more on the uh, spot welder. Uh, I think I'm going to take it back to the store, guys. I um, It seemed like the more I used it, the more finicky it would get. Um, had to clean the tips almost after every single weld, even though all my surfaces were bare metal. Um, the tips, the actual tips themselves, would, were coming loose. I'd make sure they were tight. Um, I had to take the tongs out every once in a while, steel wool the connecting ends. Um, some of the welds did not hold. Um, I did have kind of limited access on the bottom flange just because the truck frame is there and the cab mounts and stuff like that. The upper flange, I'm satisfied with the upper flange. That one held really nice. It was accessible. It's nice and clean. Um, if I do keep the welder, um, I'm only going to use it for the top flange where the weather strip goes. Uh, I am going to make plug weld the bottom. It's a lot more screwed around, but I know it's going to hold. Um, I trust it a little bit more. And maybe if I use this welder more, I'd be more confident with it. But um, I, I really, I don't, I, I don't like it. I guess. I mean, I do like the idea, but the it's just not, it's just not holding up its end of the bargain. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll feel differently tomorrow or when I get to welding the other side, which will be a f quite a while yet. So, and then um, as I'm doing my wire feed welding tonight, couldn't get the welder to work decent. I'm struggling, you know, and I'm setting my wire. I'm, you know, messing around with my ground and just could not figure out why in the hell my welds were looking so porosity you know full of like little pinholes and brown and stacking up and just looked like garbage and as I'm pondering think back when I was in tech school and going through welding courses and I'm sitting there thinking about it and I'm feeling the cool breeze from my box fan I have set up and I go ding the fan the fan is fucking up my welds blowing the shielding gas away from the nozzle I'll be damned turn the fan off start welding beautiful welds no problems nice plugs nice beads duh um, back to basics I guess um, got carried away with uh, speed I'm trying to get this thing hammered out and uh, forgot the basics don't have a fan blowing Takes the shielding gas away from my nozzle. Duh. But uh, after a little laugh to myself on that, we got that taken care of and uh, moved on. Good thing it was just a little bit. I, I ended up butt welding the cab corner. Um, you normally I do a butt with backer, and I just didn't feel it was necessary I had this one fit really nice and I'm sorry I didn't get you guys an in-action video and I, I will do that on the other side um, I was just more concentrated on making some major progress on this thing tonight and I think I did I got four four and a half hours in it tonight and um, I finished my welding on the rocker dressed all the welds on the rocker cut and fit and welded and finish ground the cab corner and I'm basically ready for short strand fiberglass and then a swipe of glaze 
Prime and Paint on this side. Um, I currently have about. Uh, let me look at it. Hold on. Let's go for a walk. Um, I think about 30 hours in this already. Just too much. 26. We got 26 hours in this truck, in this side. Normally I can whack one of these out in like 60 hours. So I think I'm going to be close. Um, I'm just getting sick of looking at it, to be honest with you. I got lots of rather fun summer stuff I'd rather be doing. And, um, but hey, you know, it's, I promised I would do it, and I'm doing it. Um, try to hold my word, you know. So let's take a look at what we did. Here we go. Okay. All right, here's the cab corner. Actually came out really nice. There'll be very minimal filler there, and I'll give you a shot of that later. Side molding is going to come off. I just didn't do it yet tonight. I overcut a little bit back there, but we'll just put a little seam sealer in that. That won't be a big deal. Uh, but everything came out really nice. I got a good fit here. The door does fit nice. I had that on there about a half a dozen times tonight. Um, but everything is looking good. Um, everything's looking pretty nice. I guess, I mean, I'm going to show you this is what the spot wells look like all finished. You can see that or not. They look nice. So these upper ones turned out way nicer. Let's see if I can get you a shot of the bottom ones here. I don't know if that's coming through there or not. I did a couple tacks here and there where I could because I just just didn't trust this down here for some reason. I just I just have I don't know. I just maybe I'm just being nervous or whatever because it's something new. Um, they all look good. I mean, they're spot welds, you know. There's plenty of them. I mean, it's strong. It ain't going anywhere. Um, but it's just um, the matter of is it worth the aggravation to wrestle that 40 pound bread box around under there um, to get questionable results I don't know I um, I don't know I'm kind of undecided I'd like to think that it will continue to work well but uh, it seems like the, like I said the more I use it the more unhappy I am with it so I don't know I just, like I said I got 90 days so, uh, see, I bought it in March. No, not March. May. First use. Marked on the box here. Even. First use. 5 18 13 for a test panel. May, June, July, August. So I got, I got some time yet. I probably will end up taking it back. Uh, I'm just way more confident with a MIG weld. So, you know, maybe I should invest that money and spend another 300 or 400 dollars and buy a Miller one. Will my results be any better? I don't know. Um, if they wouldn't be, I'd be pissed. But that's the way it goes. So yeah, I thought that was pretty funny about the uh, the shielding gas and the box fan. So it was. It's hot in the shop. It's. Um, I think it's 80 in here yet. Yeah, 82, it's 82 degrees in here and it's almost 11 o'clock. So, yeah, it's warm, she's warm. I'm gonna be uh, like 88 tomorrow, I think maybe 90 on Saturday or something like that. It'll be warm, muggy, so yay. Just what I wanna be doing is welding and grinding when it's 90 freaking degrees out. But I can't complain, it's my own doings, so. I need to get this done. This has got to get out of here. Um, I don't. I don't know if that crew cab job is going to work out this year for me. Um, I got some other issues that I need to attend to, and uh, they are more pressing and more important in the long run than doing another side job. So 
We'll see where that goes. If I do that job, of course, you guys will be along for the ride. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. So I guess here, you know, let me give you another look here. This is where we got so far. Da 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 da. Get this jam painted. And I'm not sure what procedure I'm going to use here for painting because I'm going to paint the inside of the doors also. I have to paint both cabs, corners, inside and out. One door on the outside, just below the molding. I'm not sure what procedure, but I mean, looking at that, I'll walk around. Let's take a walk. Yeah, and uh, just a side note here too. For you guys out there that think your trucks aren't really that rusty, when you see, oh, just a little bit on the bottom. Oh, just a little bit at the bottom. Bam. Inside out, guys. Not outside in. So look at this side. How ugly. So I think we could put that in the wind category so far. That's ugly. But I haven't I haven't decided if I'm going to uh, just go ahead and just get the doors for the right side ready to go and just do one whole side at a time. I don't know. I haven't decided how I want to go about this just yet. Every one of these I've done, I've done differently as far as like what gets done when and all that stuff. I know I have to prime. I know I have to seam seal. If at all possible, I'll probably just do a direct to metal or an epoxy primer. Let that set because that usually stays open for seven days. Do my seam sealing in here on that joint all the way around. Tie in there, do that joint down, and then uh, paint the jams. I'm not worried about outside the rocker because that's going to get sprayed with uh, Raptor truck bed liner along the whole bottom, approximately from like I don't know, from like here down all the way around the truck. Yeah, I was going to check by the tailpipe on this thing too. Ah, oh, tailpipe's clean. Awesome. Must be a diesel. Alright, so it's getting to be 11 o'clock here. I'm going to finish the rest of my Corona because I ran out of water in the garage here, so it's too dark to go drink out of the hose. So, um, yeah, here we are. Wire feed welder worked really good after I figured out to turn the fan off. That's funny. I'm sure that's happened to some of you guys before. Uh, and the spot welder. I don't know. I think I think it's time for it to go bye bye. I really do. I maybe give it one more shot, but I know it's quicker. But if your result isn't as good, what do you got? You know. Like I said, you know, this is something that I uh, I take pride in my work. I take pride in the longevity and the durability of the work that I do. And uh, if that tool can't help me do that, then I don't want that tool in my shop. So there it is one more time, looking good. Once that's painted, you'll never know that that was actually sec sectioned in there. And um, also haven't decided if I'm going to just spring for some new nameplates and just clear this whole cab side to avoid having a line here because I know by the time I get, oh sorry, by the time I get primer and color on here, I'm going to be pretty damn close this edge and I normally do just hard line them and maybe that's what I'll do I don't know the owner said just do it with whatever I want just make the rust go away so that's what we're gonna do all right guys have a good night tomorrow's Friday thank God uh, I think it's even payday that's even better yet uh, so I will I don't know where I'm gonna be I would like to be out here tomorrow night and pull an all-nighter and do like a six or an eight hour shift out here after dinner tomorrow night and possibly possibly um, either get the other side cut and trimmed and fit or start that process or get these doors up on stands and get these doors ready to go and get them treated with the, you know anti-corrosion baloney stuff and um, I don't know. 
I'll think on that because I'll be I'm sure I'll be awake for another hour yet just thinking about this damn truck so on that note have a good night guys thanks for listening to me rant and uh, thanks again for the comments and uh, thumbs up and all that stuff I do appreciate guys and it seems like I got kind of a core group that watches my videos um, which is cool you know it's like I have another group of buddies um, which is good I don't have enough of those so um, all right thanks again guys really do appreciate uh, the feedback and uh, the views so thanks we'll see you next time